Hey guys, Like a Hero here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Today we have a bleed build for the Trickster, something I've been using for Challenge Tier 15. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We are growing here. I appreciate all the support. Turn on those notifications, guys, so you can be notified the next time content drops. Check out my streams on Twitch TV slash Like a Hero just about nightly. All these links are in the description. So even post nerf, the Trickster is still able to gold all challenging tier 15 content. The only difference now is that it takes just a little bit more mod specific builds as opposed to before you can have like an okay build, not super optimized. Now it's, it's got to be a little bit more optimized, but it's definitely doable. I've been clearing them easily with this bleed build here. So let's start off by talking about the weapon. The weapon that I'm using is the Bulwark Automatic Shotgun. Now this is the crutch of the entire build. You need to have those ultimate bleeding bullets. And the Bulwark rolls with it as it's tier 3 mod. I then replaced the bottom mod with Killing Spree. Killing Spree just does more damage for 25% increase for every kill that you get, stacking up to 3 times. On my helmet, I have the Firepower Cooldown Reduction Close Range Damage Rolls. You're going to want this on all your gear as a trickster. For my mods, it's Strong Twist and Bloodlust. Now, if you want to see how you can easily acquire God Roll gear, make sure to check out my playlist, my Outriders playlist, and you can see how you can easily acquire God Roll pieces of gear. On my chest piece, again, we have that same Firepower Cooldown Reduction Close Range. I have a Tier 3 mod called Ammo Bargain. This is Twisted Rounds while it's active. Killing shots replenish 20% of your ammo and I have bloody boost because we're applying the bleed with our shotgun our damage to enemies who have bleed is increased by 15 percent I have tried running this without the tier 3 mod and it's just a little sketchy at times in the runs because sometimes 15 percent increase and we'll talk about that in a little bit is not enough so combining that with the ammo bargain tier 3 mod it's really important and speaking of that 15 percent we do have vampiric mod on our legs here this is giving us 50% ammo replenishment whenever we kill an enemy afflicted with bleed. Like I said, sometimes that's just not enough. I find that compare, uh, combining this with the ammo bargain is really, you're basically getting 70%, right? Literally getting 70%. And it's basically a full magazine on this shotgun. For our bottom mod, it's the tier 2 mod Buckshot Shells, which just increases our shotgun weapon damage by 10%. Again, you want to have close range damage. Cooldown reduction and bonus firepower, even though I don't have it on these two pieces of gear. For my gloves, it's emergency stance and personal space. I think everyone should be rocking emergency stance right now. It's currently bugged, and it's just giving you that protection all the time, even though visually you're not getting that golem. It is increasing your, uh, your survivability there. For my boots, I have sharp eye and mitigation from death. Every once in a while, you'll see me, especially in that clip in the beginning, you saw me aiming down sights. That's because sharp eye increases my... Firepower by 16,000, stacking up to three times for every aim down sight kill I get. And that synergizes with aim down sight kills with uh, on enemies that give me 45,000 armor as well from that mitigation from death, also stacking three times. You don't have to aim down sights all the time but because it lasts 20 seconds, but it is important to ADS every once in a while. This build is by no means perfect. I think this build is going to get you gold on everything, and you're going to be able to to do solo the content as well but there are eventually some things that I will upgrade and that's for a different video different build for my skills we're using twisted rounds it's the best ability on the trickster make sure you have that it's the crutch of everything that we do hunt the prey we're using hunt the prey to not only get behind enemies but to avoid damage when we need to but also we're getting that extra damage every time we're using our, our skills we'll talk about that in a little bit uh, Venator's Knife is our third skill. Uh, this works two ways. It's doubling our damage, but also it's creating a CC of sorts and has a big range of CC. So you're able to actually mitigate a lot of damage that you would normally take by throwing this into a room when you enter it or just throughout, right? It's on a six second cooldown, 6.8 seconds as of right now. So we're able to CC a lot, which means we're taking less damage. We're able to move behind enemies. Time Rift is an option if you like using Time Rift. However, I feel the range of Time Rift just doesn't compare to the range of Venator's Knife for that CC, that room control. For our class tree, I'm going to go over every step. If you want to just kind of like freeze it here and look at it and just kind of copy it, you can. But I will kind of explain every class skill that I chose. 
Um, of course, we're going top tree because Assassin is the place to go right now. I do see, think that Reaver builds can be an option, but for now, we're taking Ace of Trumps here. We don't need Bullet Storm because we don't reload ever. If we're ever reloading, we're doing something wrong. We have death probability for weapon damage, close run weapon damage here, shotgun master game. We just want to go all the weapon damage and cooldown reduction that we can. Um, equilibrium, of course, the more times we're using our movement sp skills is important because we are getting that increased firepower. So we have deception here. Every time we use a deception skill, our Venator's Knife, we actually get 35% increased damage. This actually is down from 50% post nerf, but it's still a great option. It's probably our only option up here. We have Arms Trick, which is close range damage. And we have Outrider Executioner, which is giving us that increased 35% weapon damage whenever we use our Hunt the Prey. We're going with cooldown reduction because that's what we want to be doing as much as possible. And the rest of the tree is pretty much just going into weapon damage, close range weapon damage, or damage from behind. I would like to mess around and go for like some kind of AR build of sorts or even an SMG. I just feel like the shotguns are just outclassing the other weapon choices for the tricksters just by far and away, just it outclasses it. So for now, I think this build is great. It, once you get more tier three mods, once you get the Hunt the Prey Replenish mod, I mean, it's literally just getting more tier three mods. You'll be able to kind of get away from the bleed build, but I do think this this bleed build is a good like stopgap to get you what you want to do get get those golds in easily without having to worry about losing your round the build still does require some finesse there are situations where you'll need to stop dps on a boss because you need to replenish that ammo so as i'm playing this i'm you know i'm kind of always looking at the bottom there especially when it's up to a boss on ads i don't really mind because i know i'm going to kill them and they're going to reload right 70 percent replenish but on boss fights you kind of want to look to make sure that you're going to either kill the boss right in the in the magazine or you're going to have to pull off kill an ad and then come back to the boss as you're going to see what i do here but it's a great build like i said it'll, it'll be that stopgap for you until you can get yourself the uh, embalmer's range the high roller you can get yourself some of the other tier three mods and those are only going to increase your time right but this is a solid build that you can get, right? There's only the one tier three mod ammo bargain, sharp eye. You can replace that with something else, more damage. That's still gonna let you gold all the T15s that there is, even solo. So I think it's a great build overall. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe for future content. I am in the process of trying to get those tier three mods, but just been super unlucky. So hopefully uh, tomorrow or today, uh, the grind pays off and I get them, but thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support Make sure to ch check out those links in the description guys join our discord check out the streams over on twitch TV slash like a hero I appreciate all the support guys. I will see you guys later well done, outrider. I can send my people back in what will you use the metal for weapons? <laughs> I've got